Welcome back to the channel. If you watched the last video, you know that I got a big lathe. Big props to Rick for the help in getting it home, and Alix for saying lots of things in French. The lathe was in rough shape, but I cleaned it, changed the oil, made it cough a few times, fixed the tool post, and now it's ready to cut. This is a 1953-ish Cincinnati tray top synthy lathe that is 12 and a half by 36, which means it will swing something up to 12 and a half inches in diameter and up to 36 inches long. I have the three jaw chuck on it for the first cuts. It's got a gearbox for thread cutting, so no need to switch out gears and such, unless you want to do metric threads. But why would you want to do that? And a 12 speed gearbox in the head. It's a bit weird how you select gears. Basically you line up the colors. Line up the yellow on the outside, inside, next one inside, and speed you like, and this will get you 342 RPMs. Green like this gets you 123 RPM. This lathe will do from 45 to 1800 RPMs. We're going to do 912 RPMs today since I'm using a carbide insert tool. I got a big round piece of something with the lathe, so I figured I'd start by cutting a bit of this up. Easy, right? It must be made for the lathe if it was with it, right? Safety squints on. Let's mount it up. Nice and snug. Luckily for me, I block the carnage. Not only was the metal hardened or something, but the insert wasn't tightened down. It just jumped all over the place. I did get a chip from it though. Right here I'm thinking that this lathing stuff is harder than it looks. I went to the local metal supply place and found a bunch of cutoffs, including this rolled steel. This I can cut. If I can get it in the chuck correctly. All right, no excuses this time. People are watching. Look at how that carbide insert moves. I must have been caught up in the moment and didn't check it. Well, it was cutting, so no spit off my back. This is all manual feeding and speeding, by the way.
time to change the angle of the dangle to face it off. And let's roll again. Again, you can see the loose insert just chattering away. left a crappy finish. I did tighten it down after this, so next time watch out world. On the left is the first chip I cut from that hardened tool steel from Hellbar. These chips are from the rolled steel bar that I actually cut. Still need work on the facing. But this is my first time, so no judging. I made a little plaque and a movie to commemorate the first chips. for more fun.